this is Jo from Math Tutor Me. Today we're doing coordinate geometry and we're looking at other types of non-linear graphs. Last lesson we learned about the parabola and the parabola is a, an equation that is in the form y equals x squared. Okay, so some other graphs, non-linear graphs that we're going to look at today are the cubic which, as you might guess, means that it has a power of 3 on the x squared, cubic for 3. A hyperbola is the name we give to a graph that has the x on the bottom of a fraction, so y equals 1 over x is the general form of a hyperbola. And the last type of graph that we're going to look at today is the circle. Now for the circle, the x and the y are both squared. So you have x squared plus y squared equal to some number. Now the number on the end tells you the radius. Now the radius is not equal to 4, the radius is the square root of that number. So for this question, the radius would be 2. Okay, so let me show you how to sketch each of these three types here, the new ones, the cubic, the hyperbola and the circle. Um, on this graph here. So question one, we have y is equal to x cubed. That's the cubic. So we substitute negative 2 in for the x. So negative 2 cubed. Now cubed means times together three times. So negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 makes a negative 8. Please use your calculator if you need to. So on your calculator you'll have a cubic button. For negative numbers, when you substitute those in, you'll need to use brackets, so negative 2, and then we do that little button there on my calculator, it gives me the cube, equals negative 8. Okay, let's keep going. Negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 makes negative 1. 0 cubed, that's 0 times 0 times 0, still 0. 1 cubed is 1, and 2 cubed, 2 times 2 times 2, is 8. So let's sketch this graph. So over here I've drawn my Cartesian plane. At negative 2, y is negative 8. At negative 1, y is negative 1. 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 8. Okay, so again, this is a curve, so don't try to use a ruler. So the curves through there. And that's it. That is what a cubic looks like. Y is equal to X cubed. Now you could put numbers in front of the X cubed. That will just make it steeper or fatter depending on what the number is. All right, let's look at the next graph y is equal to 6 over x. So with the x on the bottom, that means that it's going to be our hyperbola. Let's fill in our table. If x is negative 6, 6 divided by negative 6 gives a negative 1. If x is negative 3, 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. 6 divided by negative 1 is negative 6. 6 divided by 0 well, you can't divide something by zero. If you try typing in your calculator, 6 divided by zero, you get an error on your calculator. It's not possible to divide something by zero. So we need to put a little dash in there, or you can put an NA for not applicable. You can't actually get a solution when x is equal to zero. So let's skip that one. Let's come over here. 1. 6 divided by 1 is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 6 divided by 6 is 1. Let's plot these points. Minus 6, minus 1. That's there. Minus 3, minus 2. And minus 1, minus 6. Then we have our 0, which we can't do. And we go over here. 1, 6. 3, 2 and 6, 1. Now the hyperbola actually is like two little curves making the one graph. So there's one half of the graph and then there's a break and then we have 
Oops, that was not a very good curve. Sorry about that. A bit wobbly through there. The other half of the hyperbola. So this line in the middle at zero where we had this dash here is what we call an asymptote. The curve will keep coming around and will keep getting closer but it will never actually reach the zero in the middle. Okay, so that's an asymptote. So that is what a hyperbola looks like. And the third type of graph, x squared plus y squared, this is our circle. The number on the end gives us the radius, so we have to square root 9, which is 3. Our radius is 3. Now, this, these circles all have their center on the origin. So if it has a radius of 3, all I have to do is go up 3, down 3 from the origin, to the right 3, to the left 3, and the circle is going to go through all those points. So as best you can, try to make that into a circle. And there it is. So that's x squared plus y squared equals 9. And this one I didn't write on, y is equal to 6 over x. Okay, so there you have it. That's the cubic hyperbola and the circle. So on the next page we have three questions just like I just showed you for you to have a practice. So pause the video, fill the tables in, plot your three graphs and then restart to see if you got them right. Okay, in question one, y is equal to half x cubed. Subbing in negative two, negative two cubed makes a negative eight. Half of negative eight is negative four. Negative one cubed is negative one. Half of negative one is negative a half. Zero cubed is zero, times a half is still zero. One cubed is one, half of one is half. Two cubed is eight, half of eight is four. So the first graph, we should get negative two, negative four. Negative one, negative half. Zero, zero, one, half, two, four. So that is our cubic. y equals half x cubed. The next graph, y equals 2 over x. If x is negative 4, 2 divided by negative 4 is negative half. 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1. 2 divided by negative a half is going to be a negative 4. 2 divided by 0, we can't do, that's our asymptote. 2 divided by half is 4. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 2 divided by 4 is a half. So let's plot those points. Negative 4, negative half. Negative 2, negative 1. Negative a half, negative 4. And on the other side, we have half positive 4, 2, 1, and 4, half. So round like that. And the other half to get y equals 2 over x. And our third graph, x squared plus y squared equals 4, is a circle. Radius is square root of 4, which is 2. So from the center, we go up 2, down 2, right and left 2, and join them all up. And there it is. x squared plus y squared equals 4. That's the end of our lesson on nonlinear graphs. Join me next time and we're going to do some revision questions for this topic. See you later.